So we got Dr. Pennywise. He submitted a video here, boys. Uh, we're just going to review it and try and let him know what he could do better. Yeah. Basically. What's up, White Rabbit? Now there are two of them. It's getting out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> now there are two of them. <laughs> All right, let's get this started. All right, let's go. Oops, clicking around and stuff. Hmm. All right. We should trials. Screen, and you can just pause it when. Should I go full screen? All right. I can't see you can go though. full My screen. Eyes suck. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, it's paused. There you go. All right, you're standing still. You're okay. This is good. <laughs> good, good. It's a 2v3 now. Okay, you peeked the two of them. You got one on your right, two in front, but I don't even know if you know that. Now you're 1v3. Got some good damage in. Playing your cover. Trying to take the 1v1. Okay, good. All right, all right. That wasn't... I mean, you were just kind of screwed there, right? But... This was awesome. This pick, you, you found the 1v1, but you knew those guys were behind you, so it would have been a lot better if you had just, like, pushed forward towards that guy that you just killed, so you can try to find another 1v1. But, uh, you know, you, you did pretty well, though. That, that was a rough spot. <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty good try. Whale and Bobaka. Alright. Your fire team is falling behind. Reload. Breathe. Retake the match. Okay, looks like we have one. It looked like your other teammate was was AFK, right? We got that little that little blip there. He didn't move at all. So you are looking like you're in a two v three. We don't have any any pings yet, but if you guys push up aggressively, you might you might find yourself in a numbers disadvantage here. Let's see what happens. Okay, he catches up. Okay, we have a 3v3. You guys are all in the same lane. Looks like the opponents are all in the same lane, too. Throwing some stuff out, playing the cover, doing some peak shots. This is really good. This is excellent decision making. You guys get a trade there. Okay. Get the special. All right, all right. Well, I think you probably know what you did wrong there, but let's just go back for a second here. <laughs> right there you can see okay so yeah so you pushed up for this special ammo that this is a pretty aggressive play you really didn't need to do this but it's not necessarily wrong well in my opinion also it would have been better to get another pick before you aggressively pushed because it was still 2v3 2v2 2v2 I mean, 2v2 yeah 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 i agree wither horde ammo is nice to have but it's not you didn't need to get it. I don't know if this guy this guy made it might have been invisible a second ago, right? Yeah, he wasn't he didn't come up on the radar. Yeah, they're only in front of us. Okay, yeah, he was invisible. Yeah, so you just kinda just kinda got screwed over by invis there. I was a little greedy. I would have liked to see you play. I would have liked to see you play this cover right here that you were you were next to before a second ago. Yeah. Instead yeah, that's of what I was thinking too. Yeah. Instead of playing so aggressively, it wasn't super necessary. Also, to have you know both of you guys mm -hmm. in that room is probably not the best idea because they can push you and and if it's two, they can two v one you in that room a lot easier than if you had one guy outside. Yeah. That's also one thing to keep in mind is. You know, with trials, it's usually not the best to be grouped up in small rooms because then you, they can kill you quite easily. Right, yeah. You want to have the numbers advantage. So you want to be, like, together, but you don't want to be in the exact same lane, right? Because when they're when they're peeking this lane, they can look right. They can look from a bunch of different angles, right? Whoa. In, into this lane. Right. But yeah. you guys only have this one lane. So they know exactly where your head's going to be, but you have to, like, guess a bunch of different places. Yeah. So definitely ideal would be to have, like, you know, one guy here, and then you can't see it right now, but one guy way off on the map on the other angle so that they can see these other these other spots that they might peek from. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But of course you're playing the blueberries, so you know. I was stressed. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> I was, you're yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, no worries, dude. You're you 
This is good so far. Oh, good trust stuff. me, I always play worse when I'm on freaking camera and crap too. Don't worry about it. Opponents have the lead. Take it from them. I also want to mention while we're getting into this next fight, you you pushed up into in a range where your gun isn't that effective to get that ammo. 120s are kind of a long range weapon, so you've got a pick. You don't know where it is. You still don't know where the pick is. Now you know where it is. Okay, cool, cool. Only one enemy is left. All right. Nice. So you kind of get carried there, right? This is a good, is it good position. Teammate gets a pick from us from a complimentary angle. This is great. Yep. Where the horde shots kind of random. I do not like this push. <laughs> so right now, your teammates are, are way in the back, right? And neither of your teammates can see either of these opponents here. Or the res. Maybe they can see the res. Maybe your sniper can see the res on the left here. But you're jumping up, and both of them can see you, and you can see both of them, but you're basically committing to a 1v2 like all in which is totally unnecessary you should have continued to play either this angle or maybe um maybe gone off to the left a little bit instead of uh taking this 1v2 because you could have had an easy 3v2 but you kind of just throw here this is pretty much just a throw. Like, Pennywise, don't don't feel like we're picking on you here. This is mainly for other people too. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. This is a, We're not trying to make you feel bad at all. You're you're, you're a good player. We're just giving you tips. I could scrutinize my own gameplay just as critically. Oh yeah. <laughs> you are tied. Yeah. Sniper. Your team had a good sniper though, so. He cleaned that up for you. <laughs> Just a tip, White Rabbit. <laughs> so you were dumb to do that. I know. <laughs> okay. I want to go back a second here really quick. So, I don't know if you noticed this, but you've got a ping over here. And this is kind of like a dark one. I don't know if this comes up very well on the on the stream right now. But, but this yeah, is a... Up. Yeah, this is a dark ping, though. So we know that there's two people here. I know there's one guy here. So you're here. Your other teammate's here. Basically, this guy's doing nothing. He can help in this fight that you're taking right now, in this lane, in a 2v2, potentially, if they break out of their cover in the right angle. But this other guy in the back, they're taking a 1v1. So I, I haven't watched this yet. It's like, this is the first time Sick and I have watched this. But I bet you... Whoever wins this 1v1 over here, that team's going to win this round. Yeah. Maybe not, but I would bet, though. Also, it was really good that you were... <laughs> it looked like you were trying to shoot your Wither Horde into that room right there. Into this room. Which is really good, because then, then it basically forces them to come either this way or this way. And then you, you, know, you guys can get a pick that way. That's always... You know, it's extremely important yeah. to get that first pick, so... That was really good that you were aiming for that. It looks like you accidentally hit that that uh, that box there. But anyway. Yeah, good decision making though. I, I don't know. I don't think uh, jumping up and pushing is a good idea. Oh, it looks like he went back anyway. Cool, cool. Let's see what happens in that 1v1 on the right. I'm more curious about that. Okay, so we lost the 1v1. Only one enemy is left. Oh, but your teammate picked it up. Oh, nice. Your ally is to fight. Nice, Beautiful. nice. Okay. The enemy team is falling. So it, it might have been better to play more passive on the front side and try to help the flank, the 1v1 back there. But your teammate did that for you anyway, uh, which was great for him. So they ended up getting a trade and then he rezzed. And he killed the guy in the main lane. Yeah, you, this other guy's cracked. The sniper on your team. <clears throat> Holding a good angle. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's go back a second. Okay, this is kind of a, kind of hard to see here. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you get sniped from this lane. 
Um, that sucks. My biggest problem though with with this is not necessarily that you you're playing this cover and got sniped. It's that your teammates are not in this fight yet. So you're taking a, a pretty aggressive position right now where this the sniper can see you. You didn't know he was a sniper, but anyway, he can see you, whether he's got a primary or a sniper. And this guy is very close, and he can push you pretty easily. Right. And if he does push you, your teammates are not in a position to help you. Right. Well, this guy can <clears throat> potentially see this this lane here. Sorry. This yes, guy sir. can potentially see you here, see this lane and cover you that way. A little Most bit. Most likely not. But he's he a bit definitely behind. Definitely cannot cover you if there's somebody here. Yeah. And you, you know, if you had a wither horde over here, then that would be great. Then the sniper couldn't potentially get a good position and, and snipe you from there. Yeah. But since you were here, you were very exposed. You didn't have uh cover from your teammates. Yeah, that's that's definitely a uh... right. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. I totally agree. Yeah, so unfortunate snipe. This is a nice shot. But we took a, an aggressive position. Yeah, our teammates are way out of position. Yeah, they they couldn't even stop the guy pushing through the hallway either. If he if the close guy pushed you. Only one ally is left. But our cracked player is doing very left. well. <laughs> He's got. Is he controlling only one res? I'm not sure where the other one is. Oh, it's right there. Okay, yeah, so he's controlling both reses. That's good. Oh, no. Around the corner. Oh! 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 Oh, Ty, okay, okay. That was well played on his part. Yeah, your teammate's pretty cracked. He controlled both lie. reses, and yeah, that was awesome. <clears throat> yeah, positioned for the objectives. You lead, your opponents follow. This is the way it should be. Can you guys hear Sick okay? He's further from the mic. I'm trying to yell for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great shot on your part. Your ally is back in the park. That was another Only excellent shot too with the Wither Ward because you didn't allow them to push into you. One minute left, my friend. Perfect. Yeah, that was sweet. That was sweet. Let's watch let's watch this again really quick. <clears throat> okay, so so our teammate gets picked like right off the bat. Bummer deal. We're both in this same lane. We're kind of taking a 2v3 here. It's a little risky, but at the same time, since we're down numbers, we it's okay to take a little bit of a risk to try to get back in the game. Our teammates holding the angle near the res. That's perfect. Excellent Wither Horde shots. Your ally is the park. Only one enemy is left. Yeah, th this is pretty much played perfectly. You get a couple picks. You play your cover super well. Once it's 2v1, you don't let your teammate fight it alone. You push in. Yeah, you did most of the heavy lifting that game. That was great. In the lead, don't slow down. Try to keep in mind what the numbers advantages are at all times. It's got a DMT, they also have a sniper. We get a pick, taking some pretty aggressive place here, positioning. Okay. There, I think he just sat in that one's position where they knew where he was for a little too long and he was weak. So, so right there when he got weak, I would have definitely moved from that position. Because all it takes is one freaking stupid little art grenade yeah. and, you're, and you're dead. Yeah. Or or at the least, like right, right at this moment where I paused it, you're peeking, but your HP is already very low. Like this is one shot from just about any gun. Yep. Like, maybe you could survive a body shot from a 140, but DMT's definitely going to kill you. Any ability will kill you. Definitely, I would have got out of there. Yeah. If you if you had managed to take, like... Well, let's watch again, so... <clears throat> so you take, take 
bunch of damage. Okay, so maybe you didn't realize that he take he took a lot of damage because it kind of happened all gradual from like the pulse rifle and stuff, body shots. But you're also kind of in a one v two right now because your your one teammate is they're playing very passive. Yeah, their teammates are both playing very passive. It looks like you're you know, this guy is going on a little flank on the left. This guy's been the room behind you. I don't know if maybe he can see this engagement or not, but probably not. So you're pretty much in a 1v2 right now, and your HP is low. So peeking right now is really just not the right move. Like Six said, you could either like try to Icarus Dash out, try to reposition yourself, or you could hide in this corner. I would probably just hide to, to regen first and then reposition and see what my teammates do. But this peak is like very, very greedy and, and unnecessary. And, and also, one thing to keep in mind, Unless you're freaking Walla and you can win three <laughs> every round in trials, it is extremely important to play with your teammates, right? Yeah. So right now, like he said, you're pretty much 1v2. So I would have definitely backed off and played with your teammates. Always in trials, try and play close. It's in somewhat close proximity to your teammates so that they can help you or you can help them. Yeah. Yeah, you always want to have a numbers advantage if you can help it, or at least have it be fair. You don't want to take fights that favor your opponents. But yeah, I mean, both of your teammates were also playing by themselves, so... Yeah. But that, naturally, that's what people do in trials. They don't play with their teammates when they should be. And these two people, your your opponents were pretty much pulling hands that whole time, and that's that's why they won this fight because they were playing together. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's go back. Let's watch this second part again too. Okay. So you get res. You have a three v two, but not really because your teammates in a one v two. Then he takes a one v two because you didn't get there fast enough, and now you take a one v two. So. In reality, even though it was a a two v three. Yeah, you're you, each one of you pushed in at separate times, so it yeah. was actually a one v two on your side, right? Right. Every every fight was a one v two. Right. So so right when you get rezzed, you guys actually had the advantage. So you've got a three v two right now. The, your other teammate should be either. I mean, we don't know exactly what's happening right now over there, but he should either be getting a trade or escaping. So that he can maintain this advantage that you guys have, the 3v2. Um, he didn't manage to do that. We don't really know what happened there, but he died. This is and so didn't common kill in trials, man. Yeah. Everybody just goes in and 1v2. Me and Purple do it all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. He tries hard oh, yeah. not to do it, but it just happens. Mm -hmm. But this is what you should keep in mind, at least. You won't ever be able to get it perfect, but this is what, what you should be thinking about. So your other teammate went flying in, and you didn't you didn't follow him. You went for this ammo, um, which, you know, isn't necessarily wrong. What's up, corn? <laughs> I died once. Yeah, so it's not necessarily wrong to grab this special ammo right now. Um, but because your teammate is flying in, um, you should be, like, Icarus dashing, pushing in as fast as you can. Trying to make sure he doesn't have to do a 1v2. But he did take a 1v2. And now you're in this horrible spot where you were trying to play catch up yeah. and playing this like aggressive position with no cover. Uh, and now you're in a 1v2. I'm actually really yeah. glad that we got to show this because I feel like that is so underestimated with, with trials where people push in and try and 1v2. Yeah, and it's they, so important. They have a huge advantage. It's so important. It's so much easier for them to poke you down 1v, you know, 2v1 than it is 1v1. Right. So much easier. Let or if you have you the advantage, too. Like, fighting. if you're two versus one with you and your teammate against one opponent, like, that's free. Like, you yeah. don't even have to be good. You can hit all body shots and even miss some shots, and you'll still win that most of the time. Yep. Okay, so I want to I wanna just note again right here, um, your teammates are not with you at all. You got a hitting rift. You got cover, so it's not too bad. Not too, not too aggressive or anything. This is a little good though. Yeah, this is good. Get some poke damage. Nice. Got the pig. Beautiful. So your teammates alone. You gotta you gotta orb over here. 
where you just killed the guy. You should either be pushing in really hard to make sure they don't get this res and get this 2v1 right here, or you should be turning around and helping your teammate who looks like he's in like a 1v2 right now, or maybe maybe that's a 1v1. But we definitely don't want to play too passive. We want to get our health though, like you did. Yeah, good. Perfect. Our teammate one is one v one. Yeah. Nice. This is match point, friend. Give everything. Oh, I also want to note again. Uh, it happened twice now where you pushed in and fought at a range that you don't have weapons which are very effective in. You've got Wither Horde, which is kind of like a weird whatever range, and Igneous, which is a lot better at long range peak shooting. So you don't want to be super close to them. Which you are right now, by the way. One minute left, my you're getting some good damage and you're not getting punished for this aggressive positioning. Oh, you got now you are. <laughs> okay. So it would have been a lot better if you played back and played to your to the strength of your 120. To, to, to the strength of your loadout yep. instead of playing up close and, and taking that SMG to the face. If you're in SMG range and you've got a 120 nice on, point. SMGs are going to win almost top. every time. Would have been much worse if you had a shotgun too. Yeah. In this game, it's all about playing. If you have specific weapons, you need to play what those weapons can handle. You know? Yep. Yep. Play to your strengths. Right. This is good. Took some damage in your 1v1. Disengaged. Only healing rip. So that guy's one shot. Okay, hang on, hang on. You're getting kind of flanked here, but this guy is one HP. You should absolutely be pushing him and getting that free kill because he's alone. The other two are on the other side of the map. One minute left, my friend. Looks like your teammate cleaned him up anyway. And a super is top. And three crits. Okay, I want to go back to that engagement team. Obviously, this is going really well, but so right here, um, your teammate popped his super, right? Or is he still in it? What happened here? Oh, they killed. Okay, so your teammate that is in a super just got killed. You've got a 2v1. He's got super. Your HP is a little low. And you come flying in. <laughs> so, I don't know if you know this about 120 hand cannons, but they actually have a really slow time to kill. Its TTK is like one second, um, which is which is very slow compared to like 140s or SMGs or even like most primaries. Where they excel is that they have a lot of aim assist, a lot of forgiveness, a lot of range, and you can peak shoot for a ton of damage each time you peak. So if you're peak shooting far away, I'm it's it's one of the best guns in the game for sure. Igneous is one of my favorite hand cannons. Yeah, it's very I good. It. It's it's a at least A tier, maybe S tier. But the way you're playing it right now, but it, an Igneous against a 120, 120 is gonna normally win, right? Igneous is a 120. I mean, uh, a, a, a 140. <laughs> Well, like it depends. Palindrome. It depends on it the range, depend. and it depends range on if range. you're peak shooting. Yep. And it also depends on if the 140 player is hitting all of their crits. If the 140 player hits uh, one body shot, then you actually have, like I think, the same TTK, or it's at least very close. Right. But you're low HP, so his TTK is going to be faster than yours no matter what, because you're only at like half. And you're jumping, so you've got the in-air accuracy penalty. And he can peek shoot you because he's right by the cover, but you're not. So he is in complete control of this engagement. Um, and of course, you, you die. Um, but it's okay because your teammate was there. If we have time, anyways, we'll watch that second one. We're, we're not sure because we're running low on time. We got to do some trials. Cool, cool. Well, that was it. That was the first game. Oh, th oh, this is the second one here. That was it. Uh, oh, is it the same? Is it the same video? Two games. Same video for both matches. Okay. Sure. Is that right? Yeah. Trial to the 
Yeah, side. we're gonna do some carries in a little bit. I've got to drive home though. <laughs> So it'll be it'll be a little while, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, like a 45 minute drive. Yeah. yeah. Well, it depends. Yeah. And I got wrestle my kids and stuff. Yeah, kids. But um, maybe somebody else wants to play. I don't know. I don't know how sweaty it is either. Yeah, I'll get estimates. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Protect your team in this fight. We will need each other. All right, so we are completely alone. Hope you're watching your math. Your teammate had your back there. That was good. Only one enemy is left. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't really want to pause and rewind and stuff too much, but. Um, yeah, you basically went in one v three, and it was okay. They didn't punish you. Um, it was a mistake, though, I would say. And then your your teammates both got him on the flank. Kind of, kind of got lucky there. Nice. Right on. Looks like he got body. That was a really nice wither horde shot. Forces them to pretty much push out that one side. Only one enemy is left. Yeah, that was perfect. You, you took a, you, you won the, the team shooting on the guy who extended with no cover. Like, look at that guy's body. Let me, let me go back here really quick. Like, he had absolutely no cover at all. Is that too far? That's probably too far. Oh well. Yeah, he goes into no man's land and just gets team shot deleted. So right now you're in a three v two. Uh, you you kind of oh no misclick. There you go. There you go. So so this push right here, you're kind of offering him a one v one, which is fine. But if you had like a fusion rifle, he might have been able to clutch that and made turn it into a two v two. So it'd be better to to kind of synchronize the push a little bit better. But it was fine. And he pushes in and you follow him up, which is perfect. Don't want to let him 1v2. Yeah, he's good. I just want you to note where this guy was positioning-wise. This is where you don't want to be. This is wrong. Don't be there. Have cover. You're in the lead. Let your opponents chase you all they want. This is a pretty aggressive position. We do have an escape route, but we're very far from our team. Nice. Yeah, right on. They collapsed. Uh, you, you could have been punished there if, if the if the other team was was better and, and more aggressive, especially if they had shotguns. But uh, yeah, you held that angle and let your teammates flank. Yeah, that's fine. I get the sense that uh, this isn't a very well-balanced match here. <laughs> yep. They're nice. Only one enemy is left. Right on. Right on. Good peek play. shots. This looks like it's kind of a stomp, though. It's hard to hard to give advice when when the game is a stomp yeah, either go. direction Indeed, you have won it all. uh yeah we'll we'll jump into discord we can chat about this about what your thoughts are and stuff What happened here? <laughs> Stasis what happened crutch. here? Stasis crutch. No such thing as a crutch. Alright, so... 
we have one teammate who's with us. The other is on the opposite side of the map. And see how see how this is like really dark, like really bright or whatever. Lots of color there. That tells us that there's three enemies here. So we are gladly taking this basically 1v3, maybe sort of a 2v3 if our other teammate is involved. But our third teammate is like way out in the middle of nowhere. We really he's in no man's land. Yeah, he's in he's in no man's land. He's going on this giant flank, which has been working to be fair, like every round. But if our opponents were better, they would punish this. They would take the 3v1 slash 3v2. Yep. And the flanker wouldn't get there in time. Yep. What what you should be doing right now is realizing that you're in a 2v3 slash 1v3 playing very safe and like probably not even getting this close into the tunnel maybe play at like the back of the tunnel pop your healing rift and like wait for this flank to show up because once your flanker shows up and then you engage then you do have the advantage because you're doing like kind of a horseshoe like you're surrounding them so they have to cover multiple angles they got crossfire their cover isn't as effective because they've got multiple angles they have to worry about but they're all in one place so it's easy for you guys to have cover against them because one wall is enough for all three of them. But yeah, so anyway, you take this this 1v3. You die, you die to the, the fusion rifle. And your teammates clean it all up. Yeah, not much to say about that, about that second match, honestly. That's kind of a stomp. Yeah, well played. Yeah, good work, dude. Good work. Good stuff. Man. That was uh, enlightening. Let's uh, hop in Discord and you can tell us uh, what your thoughts are. What's up, my guy? What's up, dude? What'd you think? Uh, first game, not not so good. I I, mean, I think yeah, I think you played pretty well. It wasn't too bad. And then second game, I just you know uh, used stasis and you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. Did you well, have a comment on something? Uh that that push I did where the res was on the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. Jumped up and fired the wither word. I admit that wasn't wasn't my idea, but That wasn't your idea. Some that was somebody else. That was yeah, another that guy. Was, was where was that? Game. Yeah. So what do you what do you think about this one exactly? <sighs> this one I didn't do very good in. I shouldn't have jumped. Right. Where you pick and then I fire that and then it kills the Titan and then I can die. Yeah. Well, no, it would have been okay if you jumped, but you jumped forward, which really exposed yourself to that 1v2. That, yeah. that was all. You could have you could have even shot that Wither Horde in the same spot without exposing yourself to either of them. Um, yeah. To the, to the one yeah. on the right, right, yeah. But, it, but in any case, I think the mistake was more that um, you were... Let me go back here. It would be totally fine to be, like, peak shooting right now or, like, slicing the pie. Have you heard of slicing the pie? Yo, what's up, Exotic? Mm, not exactly. Do we want to jump yeah. into a private match? Yeah, totally. Uh, can you, can hey, you boot up Destiny? Hey. Or, I'm on Destiny. Okay. How's it going? Yeah, I can boot it up right now. Ooh. This is my little girl. Do you want to say hi, Annabelle? Hi, hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she used to not say a word. <laughs> uh, we're booting up Destiny right now. Alrighty. <laughs> Is that a mini legend or a mini ninja? <laughs> this is this is a mini ninja. This is the mini ninja. But we have a another mini ninja. He's upstairs. I don't have any mini <laughs> legends as of yet. No mini legends yet. I'll probably be a bunch of sickos anyway. <laughs> Slicing the pie is basically like uh look at look stand right right here. And and look at heavy ammo. Uh, mm -hmm. Pretend that heavy ammo is an opponent, and then I'm another opponent. So, what you want to do is, if you're in this situation where you're taking this 1v2 for whatever reason, maybe you have to, maybe you're literally the only one alive, whatever. 
you don't want to peek both of us at once. You want to only peek the one that is the furthest away from your cover, which would be me right now, right? No, go back. Go back to the other one. Go back to the other. So just peek enough to see me, but not the heavy ammo. Right. So that's slicing the pie. Basically, it's like, like you could be taking on the whole pie at once if you if you like drew a circle around us and then made lines from each from you to the heavy and then from you to me. But you don't want to take a one v two. You can t make this a one v one by slicing the pie. So uh, stand where I was standing so I can show this to the stream too. And this is huge, by the way. If you were stand right here, if you were standing right here, you, you're an easy pretty much one tap from your opponents, right? Uh -huh. Now if you're standing, if you're standing right here, you have a one v one set up a one v two. And yeah, I don't think people quite get, especially, I would say below average don't players don't get that concept where. Um, you're so much easier to kill when you're one v two. It, it, you know, it's double the damage, right? So yeah. you're gonna you're gonna die twice as fast. So yeah, you have very very low chances of winning that this fight. This is actually this is huge, mm -hmm. huge. Mm -hmm. And like every yeah. play, every good player knows this, but it's not something that like people talk about very often. Right, people know it. They just don't. <laughs> they don't. They don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So in that situation uh, where they had you had the res was right here or whatever, and there was one guy standing next to the res, and then another one off to the left, what you should have done instead of you know jumping up like you did and taking both of them at once, it would it would be good to deny that res. I think your sniper might have been covering it, but not sure. You could have like slid this way and taken just one at a time. Yep, long story short, slice the pie. Take a 1v1, don't take a 1v2. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now let's put some of this to work. <laughs> Are you gonna kick his butt? <laughs> Are we gonna play? Yeah, he's on yeah, he's on PlayStation. He's on controller. What's up, Bushel Beans? Bushel Beans, what's up bro? How you doing man? I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Most of what we talked about doesn't even apply in a one v one. <laughs> Fight me! <laughs> He's all in. All right, let me put on my actual loadout. <laughs> Should you guys just jump into like a elim or something? Uh, yeah. So for everybody else in chat, uh, we're planning to do more of these types of gameplay reviews. If you guys would like us to do you next, um, jump oh, into the Discord. And record a game of preferably trials. Survival is okay too, but preferably trials, and preferably also a game that is somewhat close. So not like a 5-0 stomp or something. There isn't usually much to learn from that, whether whether you won or lost. Um, yeah, and just put it on on YouTube or or whatever platform works for you and send us a link in the discord server purple I think and we we'll would... go over you next what's your plan no. there no no just jumping out in the middle of nowhere did you forget everything we taught you <laughs> what do you want me to what do you want me to do sit in the corner and wait for no peek him there, there you go, go. There that's there what i want to see right there are you still on igneous No. That was good though, that was good. Wait, Pennywise, put put your 120 back on. Put on Igneous. Only five minutes left. Oh, me. Okay, so play your cover. That that circle area isn't really good cover because if you get low, it's pretty easy for the other guy to cut around the corner and and basically make your cover disappear. 
play some stronger cover and try to play some longer lanes and peek shoot. Just like shoot and then take your cover and then there you Oh yeah, there you go. He's still one shot. Full now. Now you're low. That was still really good. That was good. You're playing very well, Pennywise. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yep, keep rotating. Very good. Take the longer lanes. The smoke. <laughs> and then the smoke. Yeah. Yeah, Let me transfer over a weapon. <laughs> Your spirit is unrivaled. Oh, thanks, Jack. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, you gotta go home and get on so we can do some carries. Yeah. Instead of tonight, you guys just want to do me Sunday so it's easier. Uh, it's kind of sus. I don't want to do you at all, bro. <laughs> uh, not that. Not that. Way. <laughs> it's no, not that kind I... of stream, bro. <laughs> I have a, a two-win card with, with Mercy still, and I'm gonna keep it. Right on, right on. Uh, that yeah, that's fine. We can take you on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. <laughs> that is tough. Oh man. No wonder you don't have kids sick. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. I love All our right. chat, bro. It's so awesome. All right. All right. Boys, have All right, dude. Thanks for hanging out, Pennywise. That Thanks, was Pennywise. awesome. You're awesome, bro. You're welcome.